Hey, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get your first 10,000 followers so that you can sell more stuff a whole heck of a lot easier. Now, it shouldn't just be 10,000 random followers, it should be 10,000 specific followers, like your perfect customer. Like if you have an acne course and you wanna sell your acne course to people, you wanna make sure that these 10,000 people have skin issues. If you are a uh, coach that helps people with weight loss, you wanna make sure these 10,000 people are people who wanna lose weight. These are 10,000 people who want to buy what you have to sell. That's the goal, to get 10,000 niche-specific followers, okay? Again, these aren't just followers to have bigger numbers, to look more famous or anything. These are specifically followers that will want to buy your thing or will be most likely to want to buy your thing, okay? So the first thing you got to realize when it comes to getting 10,000 followers is that what you put in is what you get out, okay? So if this is you and you want... To, and you're here right now, maybe you have, I don't know, you have like six followers, okay? And you want to be here with 10,000, then there are a few steps you're going to have to take. Let's say there's three steps, one, two, and three, okay? And what you put in is going to be what you're going to get back out. It can't just like, you're not just going to wake up one day with 10,000 followers. Like there's actual steps involved. And you probably know that, but today we're going to talk about what those steps are, what you actually have to do to make that happen. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta niche yourself out. You need to get specific about what kind of followers you want. What, like what kind of, of, of 10,000 followers do you want here? Are they gonna be moms? Are they gonna be dads? Are they gonna be uh, kids under 18? Are they gonna be um, entrepreneurs? Like who is your target audience? Get crystal clear on that niche. So the first step you gotta do is you need to get clear. We'll put a, put a big, uh, C right here for clarity. We'll just write the word freaking clarity right there so you can see it. Clarity. You need clarity on your niche. And you need clarity on not just the niche that you want to be in, not, not just the, the specific um, person that you want to help, but you need to get specific on what problems they have. So what problems do these 10,000 followers have? Okay, so maybe your, uh, your target niche is moms and the problem that your moms or follow you have is maybe um they don't know what to feed their kids your goal your goal is moms who want to raise happy healthy kids okay so your your problem is the moms they don't know what food to eat um maybe they don't know what to do when the kid's crying maybe they don't know what to do when the kid can't sleep um maybe you don't know the mom doesn't know what to do when um her kid's getting bullied or maybe her kid is the bully Right, so God, God forbid, right? But these are some of the problems that parents have to deal with. Like, what do they feed their kid? What do they do when the kid's crying? What do they do when the kid can't sleep? What do the kid do when the kid's a bully or being bullied? What do they do when the kid um, is um, is just being like really, really messy? How do you get your kid to clean up? Okay, there's tons of problems that moms and and parents in general have to have to uh, deal with and have to learn how to overcome. So if your targets um, moms and you want to help moms raise happy healthy children in the easiest way possible you have to get clear on what specific problems moms have and there's at least like 30 problems you can list off 30 problems for sure that, that moms have and every single uh, niche that you have and every single perfect customer that you have is going to have at least 30 of these problems okay so get clear on, on what type of followers you want to have and get clear on what problems they have that's the first step you got to do okay so the first step right here is getting clear on who the person is and what problems they have. Now the second thing you gotta do, once you're clear on that, is you have to then go and create the content. Now, when I say content, I don't mean anything fancy. I mean something like this. You just take your phone up on a tripod and you talk. You don't need a crazy microphone, you don't need a crazy camera, you don't need crazy lights. I got these lights on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. So one light there, one light here, and I got this whiteboard for another hundred bucks. This is the full setup. Uh, so you just create content. You just Take out your phone and you give people advice. Some of the best advice you could ever give someone is three steps to accomplish a goal. So if you're at ten, if you're at six followers now and you want to be at ten thousand followers, here are the three steps. As an example, the other example in this case could be um, you have a kid and you want to get it to stop crying all the time. Here are the three steps to get your kid to stop crying. If I had a kid, my kid was crying, and you gave me three steps to get my kid to stop crying, I'd be like, oh my god, thank you so much. All right, it was very very helpful advice. If my kid can't sleep and you can get my kid to sleep with three simple steps, thank you very much. Same thing with the bullying thing. Same thing with being messy. Same thing with the food thing. Like, just give me three steps to take. That'd be fantastic. Okay? So the second step for you is creating content. And the way to create content is by picking one of these things and then giving 
the person uh, three steps to accomplish it. This is just one example. Another example would be to talk about the three mistakes that you've made or why you quit doing a certain popular activity that a lot of moms might try or why you um, started doing something that's kind of controversial or why or how, how you save time or how you save money in a certain way. You know, talk about those certain things. Just give genu genuine, genuinely helpful advice. Uh, so that's the second piece there is, is the content. And it, it's, a, it's a matter of creating content in the first place and then contributing the content to places like Instagram and YouTube where it's most likely to get viewed. You can put it on Facebook as well. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, those are the big ones right there. Right? So that's the third step is just creating the content and then contributing the content on the internet. Now the third step here is being consistent with it. Okay. So once you get started with this content, it's important to be specific, uh, so, so, important to be consistent with the content and important to be consistent with your um, target. Okay. So consistently target the same people. It's easy for you to say, Oh, but I'm good at a lot of things. I love gardening. I love making food. I love athletics. I love raising kids. I love climbing trees. I love slack landing. I love acro yoga. I want to make a channel about all sorts of things. It's, although it's tempting to do that, and that's kind of what I've done in the past on one of my channels, um, it doesn't help the algorithm. So if you want to get the most amount of followers, you need to you need to work in favor of YouTube's algorithm. And YouTube favors channels that are dedicated to one thing. That's why you look at the biggest channels on YouTube. One of them is like just gaming. Another one is just cars. Another one is just like reviews on toys. Another one is like just athletics. Another one is just on... Um, reviewing clothing lines like another there's a very very specific like ones for food ones for relationships ones for athletics ones for finances like each channel is like dedicated to its own thing so find your niche and then be specific with it and be super consistent with with uh, your uploading but be also consistent with your um your targeting okay it's very very important so those are the main three steps to take if you want to speed up the process a bit and when you're putting content out on youtube be sure to um Use titles that are trendy. Use titles that are proven to work. So go look up, go look at YouTube videos, and you'll go see a bunch of lists of go, go, go look like the most popular titles on YouTube, and you'll see that hey, I can use those kind of titles in my videos. Like great, really, really popular ones are like um, why I quit blank or why I never blank or how to blank or how I blank or what I've learned after X years about X. Um, those are those are really really important uh, to to keep in mind that you, your titles. And the other thing you wanna do is make sure your thumbnail looks really good. Uh, you can go on canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A.com to create a thumbnail for yourself. Uh, and then if you're on Instagram, make sure you're using 30 hashtags on every single picture you put up. That's gonna get you distributed uh, to the widest network of people on Instagram. And then uh, also make sure you're using keywords in your YouTube videos when you upload those as well. Keywords on YouTube is kind of like hashtags on Instagram. Um, and then when, if you want, if you want to make money from these 10,000 followers, of course, it's important to have an offer. It's important to send these 10,000 followers or your viewers to a funnel. So they don't just come to your content, they watch it and they leave. Uh, mo most people, when they create content, they put it up and say, okay, that's it. Enjoy. Bye-bye. And they leave. But what you actually want to do is you want to say, hey, if you like this video and you want to learn more, go get my free thing. Yeah. And just use social media to send people to a free thing. Always give away free stuff on social media. Uh, so if you're teaching moms how to make the best food for the kid at the end of every single video you say hey if you like this video and you want my five best free recipes go get my free recipe at the link in the description or at free five recipe mama.com sure, or something like that you send people there so uh, that's that if you want some extra help on uh, creating offers for your 10,000 followers or for the amount of followers that you have now maybe you don't have 10,000 followers you definitely don't need to wait to have 10,000 followers before you start making offers um, I would get started with making offers as soon as possible. I regret only starting to make offers recently. If I had started to make offers way back when I only had a thousand followers, I would have so many more customers by now. I'd have so much more money by now. But I only started making offers within the past couple of years. Um, so don't wait to start making offers till you have 10,000 followers. Just know that you're gonna make a whole hell of a lot more sales if you do have 10,000 followers, but start making the offers now. And the offers can be free offers, like I said. So if you wanna learn how to, um, make offers or if you want to learn how to send people to your funnels or how to actually create the funnels and what the heck are funnels then head on over to veganmoneybook.com and you can pick up a free copy of my latest book called vegan money 2.0 it shows you how to take um, your passions in a niche and then actually help people like my niche is veganism so i called it vegan money uh, how to take your passions in a certain niche and then how to create funnels with it how to create offers with it how to create products with it 
ads that people actually want to get. And you can spend all your time on social media just promoting free stuff while all the sales stuff happens in the back end. So if you want to learn more about that, head on over to veganmoneybook.com or the link is in the description. And again, you get a free book there and uh, there's an audiobook option as well if you're into that. So hope this was helpful. These again are the three steps that you can take to get your first 10,000 followers. Okay, peace.